Olivares College Coliseum at ayan ang kanilang uh, intent and interest. Hoy! <laughs> tayo ba yon? Parang ganun na sinasabi na. Tayo ba yun sa TV na yon? Yung iba excited. Uh -huh. Yung iba nagtatago. Yung iba nagugulat kasi. Uh -huh. Nabibigla sila eh. Pero of course, everybody's enjoying every bit of the action. Sabi nga po natin, pumapasok na ang UCBL sa kanyang ikatlong linggo. And people are beginning to recognize, nakikilala na nila unti-unti ang mga players dito. Sino ba talaga mga panguhusay? Sino ba yung mga, for the girls most especially, sino ba yung gusto nilang kasama sa kanilang selfie shots? Diba? Yung mga bagong idols. Uh, yeah. Second quarter! Muli po, Benji Santiago kasama ko si Coach Bojing Akot at courtside. Rina Villamore, we'll hear from her a little later on. Apat ang lamang. Itong panig ng uh, TIB. 8 of 20 field goals, 5 of 16 for the Griffins of San Lorenzo. John Gabriel blocking that shot of Okoroko. Pero ito, pangwi naman sa kaliwa. Joshua, uh, Joshua after, the block, after the block against... Uh, Ang Okoronko, napaswerte naman doon si Alcobar getting the ball in the corner for a three-point shot. Alam mo, nalilito ko kay Alcobar at saka rito kay Harley Deco. Pareho sa nilang hairstyle eh. Not only, <laughs> not only that, yung body frame nila, partner, wide body, almost same height. Anyway, punta mo na natin si Rina. Yes, Benji, as mentioned by Coach Bujing earlier that Coronda and Karongo, I did not see action the last game around. But on the good side, it also gave playing time to the rookie players to be able to step up for the team. That way, the rookie players did not only gain time and exposure on the hard court, but they also gained confidence. Katulad nga nitong si John Gabriel, slowly, but surely, nakukuha daw niya yung confidence niya sa paglalaro dito for the CDSL. Now, against the TIP, they were reminded to double hard and boxing out, especially mahaba at matangkad yung kanilang kalaban, and to execute zone defense. Benji, back. All right, that's going to be very, very interesting. No wonder, actually, they did their homework. And the two coaches, and of course, takinig na mabuti ang uh, players from both sides. Pito na naman muli, itong lamang ng TIP, pero hindi na tayo magugulat kung ito, babawasan na naman ito ng CDSL a little later on. But right now, they have to defend. Lara from the outside. Something that hurt them is the three-point baskets ni MJ Enriquez earlier. At ito mga second serving na ito. Ito, si Harley Jago na yan. <laughs> yan yung ayaw ni Coach Bonnie Garcia. After the missed basket of the engineers, you're giving them an, an, an opportunity to put back. Gusto niya ni Coach uh, Bonnie Garcia, one possession lang ibigay sa engineers. Traveling kagad naman dito kay Kaliso. Joshua Kaliso getting, getting his playing time but committing a turnover right away. Kanina nakita natin parang gig-explain pa si Coach Bonnie Garcia on what a traveling and what is not supposed to be called traveling. Happy Toothpaste, Dr. Edward Sterile Water by Euromed. Thank you very much for your support. MJ Enriquez! Vicky Lea, pero hindi nga lang pumasok. Almost, almost, nawala ang bola rito sa CDSL Griffins. Look at this challenge by Okoronko. John Gabriel, pero second time, he will not be denied. John John Gabriel feels that he is much quicker than uh, Chris Okoronko. John Gabriel, kailangan ko marangkada ang kanyang opensa rito. Coming off the bench, MJ Enriquez, pinopo pa yung tira. Yung tres niya pumapasok, yung mga malalapit, ayaw. Still, that puzzles me every time. Joshua Alcobar with a runner. Alcobar, five points in this ball game, coming off the bench, giving quality minutes for the engineers. 27-18, TIP, obi-init na sa kanilang offense right now. Kanina, first quarter, pinakamalaki namang pito. No whistle there. Surely there was contact. Ito sana alley of play, but it backfired. Para sa TIP engineers. Galit na galit si Coach Dino Enrile kay Joshua Caliso. Bakit daw hindi bumaba sa depensa? Buti na lang, nabitawa, nagbutter finger si Alcobert. Kung hindi, it could have been an easy two points in transition offense for the engineers. Tristan Laman, na dito lamang ginamit, off the bench, usually we see a couple of games ng uh, San Lorenzo. He started the ball game. Also, John Formento. 
Missing that outside shot. Ali Diego. Another three on the way. Voila. Jimenez is there. Jason Jimenez. Siya naman ang nabukas para tumiras na, uh, tumira rather than tres di pumasok. 27-18. Caliso. Uy. Hindi <laughs> ako nadadala. Pero wala akong pito eh. Okay lang na kita. Turnover pa rin somehow. Kay Gastrero kanina. I, took, I, I thought he took extra steps. You know, for Mento has to realize, John John Gabriel is the firepower of the Griffins. Once they cross the ball to the front court, they have to pound the ball in the post. Kasi magaling naman pumasa si John John Gabriel eh. He knows when to pass and when to shoot. Rather than taking it one-on-one -on -one because engineers play tough defense individually. Lava. Let's see this drive by Harley Diego. Yes! Harley Diego will take it all the way against Joshua Caliso because he feels he is much faster than, the, than Joshua Caliso in the power forward position. So, bumabalik na ba yung mga numero talaga ni Harley Diego? Tama ka, partner. Harley Diego scoring already 9 points in this ball game. Lina is 11 para sa TIP Engineers. Louis Vargas re-enters the ball game para sa Colegio de San Lorenzo Griffins. So, napadsin ni Coach Bonnie Garcia na inaatake si Joshua Caliso ni Harley Diego because he feels he's much quicker. So, adjustment naman niya. Nilabas si Caliso, pinasok si Vargas. Jason Jimenez. Three seconds na. Ang tagal. Long buzzer, meaning a timeout has been called with five minutes and 53 and TIP engineers. Lumalayo na. All right, ayan po. That's the way to do it. See yourselves on TV and then let's party. Okay. <laughs> Five minutes and 53. Nasa first game pa lamang tayo. Oops. Sasabu no tanam. Ayan, ayan. That's the way to enjoy a ball game. HP Products by Advanced Solutions and Manila Bulletin sponsors natin. And later, the University of Batangas Brahmans will be seeing action. Laban. Sa, sa Sea Lions. Sea Lions ng Olivares. 4 of 11. Field goals this quarter for TIP. CDSL. Ano nangyari? Biglang pagtuyot. One of five. James Alvarado. Firing away. No! Diego for the rebound. Diego, I don't you want any ball up. Diego, any one on the ball up. Diego going all the way. Hindi nga lamang pumasok. Tapi ka ng ball up. Jorge Napoles keeping it alive. And then this shot. Ang daming tira na niyan para sa TIP engineers. Tama ka, partner. Multiple possession was given to the engineers because that the Griffins did not box out properly. And that attitude of trying to wait for the contact to happen before you go to the basket. It's nice to see it. See Matignas is back in the game. Yes. Remember the injury that na nangyari sa kanya in their first game palamang, dun sa ating opener. Like he twisted his ankle. Tiningnan pa kaya rin mismo ni Irina, eh, di ba? Tama ka, partner. But remember, lamang dito ang TIP engineers because of the rebounding department 11 to 4. Nandun yung payong defense ng TIP engineers and John John Gabriel pero may foul. So free throws to par kay John John Gabriel. Coach Bonnie Garcia. Biglang naiiwanan dito. 
Gabriel has really to have to assert himself in this game. Well, John Gabriel has 10 points already. But remember, Coach Bonnie Garcia decided to put him, pull him off the bench because he feels that the other players has to contribute to the offense of the Griffins. Pero nangyayari nito, siya pa rin ang kumakayod lang eh. So kailangan mag-perform si Laborja, si Alvarado, si Karongoy to be able to, you know, catch up and play a better situation against the engineers. Patignas. Battle for that loose ball after a missed shot. James Alvarado. Karongoy. Para for Gabriel. One on three balls. I like that kind of fast break of the Griffins. You know, from Alvarado to Karongo to a cutting John John Gabriel for an easy two points. Jory the ball is called for traveling. Ito, tingnan natin ito. That's the way to do it. Special delivery ball! Pag nahuli kami, Meron kayo 20% discount and then iba yun, iba pala yun. Talaga food delivery yun. 31-22 para rito sa TIP Engineers. You know, if, it, if, if the Griffins will be able to get their confidence in, in, in running their transition offense because they're shorter against the Engineers, you know, they, we will have a good ball game. Lead is 9 for TIP. A struggle from the field. That's what's happening also from the free throw line. Cafe France, Congo Grill, Karate Kid. Yan pa rin po. Ilan sa mga tumutulong sa atin dito sa UCBL. Split. 31-23, TIP pa rin. Subok, subok lang. Roldan Piñas. Yeah, Roldan Piñas scoring his first two points in this ball game. So talagang maraming nururotate si Coach Putit oh, Rivera man. to defend against the the scorer, John John Gabriel. Three minutes and 28 before we end the first half. James Alvarado has it. Yun ang problema na ipamigay lang yung bola. And then, Atignas with a basket. Sabi nga nila, pag tinrabaho mo yung defense, lalapit sa'yo ang opensa. In that situation, it was a good stop by the engineers and ran a transition offense for Matignas. Ito na ang pinakamalaking lamang. Topong lead para rin sa TIP engineers. And a missed scoring opportunity again because of an error on the part of Colejo de San Lorenzo. The Griffins has to be more patient in executing their game plan if they want to get back on this ball game. Two minutes and 59, 35-23 TIP. Okay, chillax lang, chillax lang. It's uh, your time to shine naman. Dito po kami sa Olivares College Coliseum sa Paranaque City. Ooh! <laughs> Hindi kasi nakaredy yung best smile nila, kaya medyo parang binibuelo nila eh, magtatago sila. And then they will, yun na, yung pang smile na nila on, on TV. Look at, pick a move. <laughs> 35-23 para sa TIP. Terence Matignas, who scored his first basket earlier. He stays in the game. A miss. Ooh, Borja. Magandang transition defense ang pinakita ng engineers. Na-challenge na yung fast break ni Borja of the Griffins. Pero mas maganda ang pinakita doon ni Vargas. Getting an offensive rebound giving a San Lorenzo Griffins a chance to score. But in this situation, he has to make two free throws first. 
See, Louis Vargas is the one shooting free throws. At ito yung mga scoring opportunities they could not fully exploit. No, Bart Vargas, Louis Vargas is known as a defensive stopper. Yung mga puntos na yan, bonus yan kay Kuboni Garcia. Pero as of now, he is still scoreless. Ali Diego handles the basketball up against Mark Carongoy. Si Carongoy tahimik din para rito sa San Lorenzo. Terence Matignas, Jason Jimenez, fire right away! Jimenez has six points. Dalawang three points na ang pinupukol dito ng point guard ng engineer. Charles Caliano, kailang ibalik. He also has to be aggressive. Yung mga love pass na ganun, partner, yun yung tamang pasa sa isang sentro na 6-6 na John John Gabriel. Terence Matignas committing a turnover. Good defensive stop by the Griffins of Colegio de San Lorenzo. Karongoy. Inside. Mahirap, mahirap. But pumukul na ng tres. Ito si John John Gabriel. And he missed that one. No rebounder except for himself. 15-point lead para sa TIP Engineers. Ali Diego with a turn. Gabriel taking care of the rebound. And Charles Caliano with the basketball. James Alvarado. Ito na naman. Bread and butter play para sa Colegio de San Lorenzo Griffins. And John John Gabriel would have to work harder getting his two points against the engineers. Dahil at dami yung rotate sa depensa kay Gabriel. Nandiyan si Pinas, si Okoronko, si Akpuro. Uy! And that's why the referee was talking to John John Gabriel. Feeling that Gabriel should have been taking free throws. So, Karongoy with a miss. And here comes the TIP engineers again. Terence Matignas missing that one. Charles Caliano. Yon Matignano. Yeah, they have to have more transition offense with, with, with Calano if they want to get back in this ballgame. But the foul that, that was given by James, by Caliano against Jason Jimenez was a no no. After a, a good fast break, partner, pa foul ka, it's a frustration oh, foul. Oh, my. Jason Jimenez, yan ang free throw shooting. Talaga nga naman, marami para rito sa panig ng TIP. Ang kulay de San Lorenzo Griffins, umis na lahat naman. Two out of two for the TIP engineers, pero doon sa kulay de San Lorenzo sa free throw, sa daming minintes doon, si Vargas at si Gabriel. 39-27. The lead is 12. Highest at 15. Every single time that the Griffins pushes the ball in transition offense, there is a positive that is happening to them. So they have to maximize that. John John Gabriel. There are a lot of dribbles. There are a lot of attacks. And then the turnaround shot is a miss. And a loose ball foul pa may tatawag laban kay Louis Vargas. John John Gabriel must take it inside the paint. Huwag fade away shot. At saka huwag siya mag-three ball. Tatlo yung defender niya, partner eh. So, make that pass, extra pass, repose again. Go to the other side of the block. Para yung pati yung defensa mo, hindi lang siya stagnant, gumagalaw, hindi rin siya, hindi fix. Yung depensa. Nagtasa penalty na nga. Ang Coleo de San Lorenzo Griffins at si Jore Napoles. Sablay lang yung pangalawa. John John Gabriel taking care of a rebound. 40-27. Kanina bola ref. 
It would be with the Griffins. Alam mo, pati yung mga referee niya, partner. When in doubt, they also huddle. They also ask for oh, assistance. Naman. Yung assist para mabigay ng tama kung saan yung possession. Tao lang yan, partner. Sometimes they get aligned. Sometimes they make bad calls. James Alvarado missing the outside shot. May oras pa. Yun nga na, pinatili. Pinas. Walden Pinas missing the outside shot. Galit na galit to si Coach Putin de Vera. They said, he's saying to his players, they should have taken the last shot. Kaya nga eh. Charles Galliano, natawagan pa na traveling. Sa sobrang pagmamadali. 1.1. Lead is 13, highest at 15, VIP Engineers. Sino po ka ng kanilang lakas na kulay ang San Lorenzo Griffins? In the first quarter, okay lang, it was as close. And then the second quarter, gusto na maging blowout ng VIP Engineers. Taking care of a 13-point lead to end the first half. Back here at the UCBL Games, here at the Olivares Gym. At this time around, kasama natin ang ating tournament director na si Mr. Horacio Lim. Sir, kamusta po ang uh, tournament natin ngayon? At ano po ba ang tournament uh, natin na uh, pinapatupad dito? Tournament requirements and directions. Uh, so far, uh, the first few, few days of our tournament, uh, everything is okay. Uh, regarding the officiating, uh, I think we are calling the attention of all the referees. Lalo na kung mayroong uh, konting reklamo yung mga coaches regarding on that, on that particular call. Uh, we'll try to review it in our tape, in our slow-mo, and then we will be able to pinpoint kung talaga ang, kung talaga na nagka, nagkamali ang referees o talagang, talagang, mali, talagang mga players ng mga naglalaro. So, we'll do our best to call the shot regarding the sa referees. Uh, because we want to give every, uh, every team uh, good officiating and quality officiating of the, of the game. Sa ating pong, uh, fans ng UCBL, ano po ba ang ating tournament format na sinusunod? Ang tournament format natin, because it is seven teams, so we go for double round elimination. Uh, and then we go for top four, uh, final four, just like uh, their league is doing, di ba? So one versus four and two versus three. And one and two has the twice uh, advantage uh, to beat and then uh, we go for the finals the finals will be a best of three series uh, and then we also have the battle for third a uh, one game winner take all for the battle of third what can we expect for the UCBL games as the game goes along I know that this is going to be an exciting season for all of us but what can the fans still expect well the fans uh, will expect uh, uh, exciting games as as we uh, know that the teams uh, as of now uh, may malakas, may mahina but uh, I think every game uh, all the school uh, especially these uh, collegiate players are giving their best uh, effort in every game. So far uh, it's, it's exciting. Please invite our viewers to come over here at Olivares Gym to catch the action. Yeah, we are inviting all the uh, viewer to watch uh, live here in uh, Olivares College every Monday, Thursday and Saturday. Game will start at 12 o'clock and the second game will start at 2 p.m. On the same day, there will be a telecast as uh, IBC 13 that will start at 8 o'clock and hope you watch the game and, uh, uh, and help us uh, uh, to be improving in all our games. Alright, maraming salamat po sa inyo, Mr. Horacio Lim, ang ating tournament director dito sa UCBL. Of course, don't go away. The second half of this game will be right up.
At patuloy niyo po pinapanood ng UCBL dito sa IBC 13. We are at the half ng ating first game kung saan labing tatlong puntos na lamang ng TIP Engineers laban sa Colegio de San Lorenzo Griffins 14-27. Babot pa nga ng uh, kalahatin buwan ng labing limang puntos ang pinakamalaking lamang ng TIP Engineers. At nangakalahati na itong ating ball game. Muli po Benji Santiago kasama ko rito si Coach Bojing Akot. And what have we seen? First quarter, okay lang eh. And then second quarter, kumawala na naman itong TIP Engineers. Tama ka, partner. It was Harley Jago who really did the damage for the engineers. Nandun nga yung tinatawag natin multiple position na nilaro niya. Pwede siya maging point guard, pwede siya maging shooting guard, pwede siya maging post-up player. Pagdating naman sa kabila, si John John Gabriel off the bench scoring 15 points but that's not enough. Sabi nga natin kanina, partner, it was a solo flight by John John Gabriel. Nagkulang man sa kanya mga numbers in their last outing, itong si Harley Diego, especially when they went up against CEU. A total of nine points already for him and of course contributing also in the rebounding department. Five total rebounds, two of them offensive rebounds. Ito si Harley Diego, but the job is not yet over. Those missing numbers, those are really big when they lost to CEU. This time around, kailangan present na yan. For John Gabriel, okay lang eh. Yung kanya mga numbers expected. He has also contributed seven rebounds. They have been going to him and mostly succeeding when John John Gabriel is near the basket and on the move. Tama ka, partner. Pagdating sa field goals, eh talagang lamang dito. Ang TIP Engineers, 16-43. At saka ang Griffins, 9-31. Sa three-point department, 5 out of 13. Dalawa dyan kay Jason Jimenez. Dalawa dyan kay MJ Enriquez. Pagdating sa Coleo de San Lorenzo, 1 out of 7. Napakababang percentage yan. Sa rebounding, okay pa nga to for the Griffins kasi they're only down by 5. Considering the TIP is much taller and bigger and wider, 28-23. Sa assist department, TIP is sharing the ball well with 10 and 5 for the Griffins. The thing about the uh, uh, TIP engineers is that they could actually utilize a lot of their uh, players from the bench. You know? Arlene Diego has 9 points yeah, as he leads the uh, TIP engineers. MJ Enriquez off the bench with uh, the 8 points and 7 para kay Jason Jimenez. Sino ang tutulong ngayon kay John Gabriel? 15 points and then ang kasunod sila James Alvarado with only 4. Charles Calano only 4. Siya nga lang ba talaga? Alam natin, kaya niyang dalhin sa kanyang mga balikat ang uh, panig nitong uh, Colegio de San Lorenzo Griffins. Pero not bad at all if would he could get some help. We'll see if that happens in our second half. Alright, welcome back. And uh, ito simula na ng ating uh, third quarter. At sa pagkakataong ito, batiin lang natin isa sa ating mga colleagues ah, na nagsiselebrate ng kanyang birthday today. Of course, si uh, Nikki. As Nikki Viola. Viola. Happy birthday, Nikki Viola. celebrating a birthday today. Oh. Isa rin po talaga sa sumusubaybay na ng UCBL ang ating uh, kaibigan, yung mga Stop and Shop Boys na intramuros wall sa pangunguna ni Raul Page. Ha? Eh, of course, ito sinusubaybayan na rin ang UCBL also celebrating a birthday. At dito sa ating third quarter, 40-30.